is your father's bantamweight division, right, DC? A lot of people would argue in this era, 135 pounds, 1 through 50 is the UFC's deepest division, and this is the champion who has emerged from that talented fight. Yeah, it's a very tough weight class. I mean, if you look at the top 15, all these guys are so talented. But when you look at the champ, you can see that there's something different about him. It's in his swagger. It's in his abilities. It's in his idea that he is just so much better than everyone else. It's easy to poke holes in that unless he keeps winning. That's exactly what he's done. He's mastered the game. He's mastered the weight cut. He's got every skill in the book. Most believe it's going to take a Herculean effort to dethrone that champion for tonight. With that backdrop, here is the tail of the tape for this Bantamweight Championship fight. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Sean LaGuard. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world. Big Daddy. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. All right, so here he is, the reigning defending champion. He won his last fight by TKO, and he says he thinks he can do the same here tonight. He's not putting any added pressure on himself to get the finish necessarily, but he and his corner have seen some holes on film that they believe they can exploit. We'll see if he can get another emphatic finish and continue his championship legacy here tonight. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage. It's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length, give his opponent problems. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the opportunity. He's got a strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot. out of side control. Nice. In position for a submission attempt here. That guillotine is tight. There's the time. Oh, you got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. Oh, my goodness. Oh, nice knee. Left hook to the head. Yep. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pin in the triangle now. Oh, 
Oh, that looks painful. That's got to be it. his hips back and his chest down towards the mat. And you just spilled your popcorn all over I the ground. Big ground and pound. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off when he takes the back. Now going for the rear naked choke. Oh, what a way to escape. Look at him shove the elbow up, John. Break the lock and get back to his back to defend that rear naked choke. What a fight so far. All right, heading back to the corner, and Garbrandt's corner looks a little bit concerned, perhaps because of that cut on the lip that was opened up there in that round. Starting to bleed pretty good. Cut man's got his work to do now. All right, so there's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights, DC, and there was a big knockdown there. Thought he might get the finish. We'll see if he gets it in the next round. Well, if he lands that shot again, it will be over. It will be a finish. You don't recover from two of those types of strikes. You found the way. Ready to fight? Ready. Second round on the way. Oh, my goodness, what a kick. Nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Garbrandt. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement. <laughs> Damage is about to start. Oh, big, big shots here. Just because he got taken down doesn't mean he ain't gonna punch. He lands a beautiful strike from the bottom. Postures up and delivers a massive ground and pound punch to the head. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. He blocks the shot. Ninety seconds to go. O'Malley's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps there on the bridge. Nice front kick there. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Oh, good block there. Big knee lands there. Oh, shades of Leon Edwards. Headshot, bang. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Oh, back and forth. Go. Under 20 seconds now to go. Oh, two strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not. Oh, what a way to end the round. Saved by the belt. He got stunned by a huge shot right before the Ready to fight? Ready. Round two is on the way. Nice punch lands over the top. Leg kick now. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like this, you don't really stand. After you take a head kick like this, that is such toughness to even be on his feet like this. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back. I mean, blood's in the water. You got to go. Oh, and DC, he would appear to be in real trouble.
gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. So how about that as he pounds him out for the TKO, prioritized the finish tonight, absolutely gets it with style points. A huge, huge result here in this arena tonight. It's always fun to see an athlete...